Thank you. Oh my God, I did that to stop and tell you. Thank you so much. <laughs> hello, hello guys and dolls and welcome back. It's me, Cora. Today, I'm going to make a video about crop tops and shorts and things in that category. Not all of these outfits are crop tops and actually one of them is kind of a dress but with shorts it's it's the whole thing you'll see. Um, but before we get started with the actual lookbook I want to unpack some of the baggage as a plus size woman wearing shorts because I will admit that that is something that's an area that I'm not always super comfortable with and it reminds me of all the times when I make you know videos and I oftentimes show my arms because I'm not I'm not ashamed of them they're just a body part women will comment to me and say I wish I could be as confident with you as you are and show my arms and I'm always kind of saddened by that a little bit because in my opinion you're allowing yourself to um, to be hindered by an imaginary flaw. They're just arms, they're just body parts. Um, and yeah, at the same time, I have body issues too, and I think that you can be body positive and still have things about your body that you feel self-conscious about. Just like you can be body positive and still want to lose weight or gain weight or whatever you want to do, um, it's about being comfortable in your own skin. It's not necessarily about thinking, I'm so perfect, I never want to change it, I'm amazing, and everything about me is perfect, and I'm perfect, perfect, <laughs> That is being a narcissist, not loving yourself, which are different things. But anyway, um, I want to kind of unpack some of that because with shorts, it's something that I've always been self-conscious about, not so much for showing my legs. I actually like my legs for the most part. I don't mind them. They get me to point A to point B. They help me exercise. They help me run, walk, hike, um, climb my stairs every day. I love my legs. But the part of my body that I'm self-conscious about is my stomach. It's just something that I'm self-conscious about. And when you wear shorts, there's nowhere to hide. You can't really wear any kind of like shapewear. Although I've been less into shapewear this year in the last like 12 months, I've been less into shapewear than I ha was in the past. I love crop tops. I usually wear them with some kind of skirt and I usually don't have very much belly skin exposed. Um, and I just decided to like break out of that, try something different, really kind of challenge myself. And you know what I discovered is that crop tops and shorts for the most part are actually incredibly flattering. They call a lot of attention to the smallest part of my body, which is my waist. Um, which is just something for me personally, but also, you know, you get a lot of compliments because it's unexpected. And this kind of comes with a double-edged sword. You have the people who are just like, well, you look great, you know, and that's just a nice compliment, thank you. And then you get the compliment that sounds like this. Wow, that looks so good on you. And it's like a question. Um, and really the subtext of that is, wow, I didn't know a fat girl could dress like that. Um, so on the one hand, that is kind of offensive, let's be honest. But on the other hand, it's that you're challenging someone's notions. You're challenging what people see fat people looking like. Um, and I do think that that comes from a positive place from those people. I'm going to take it as the benefit of the doubt that they, you know, that it's coming from a positive place, but it's just something that's unexpected for them. With all of that said, let's go ahead and dive in to a really fun lookbook with shorts, crops, some regular tank tops, just some really, really fun stuff. I was like, crop top, a ba -ba -ba -ba. okay. <laughs> so this first outfit is a lot of fun. This is a crop top that I bought several months ago from Forever 21. They do not have this anymore. They have a couple of other crop tops, which I will have linked in the description bar down below. This is in a size 3X. They do have a pineapple t-shirt right now if you're just like really obsessed with pineapples. Um, really comfortable cotton. I love the uh, the cut of this tank top with it's like high neck and then it, it kind of cuts off similar to like a halter top. It's incredibly flattering. It kind of shows off my shoulders. It's fun. Um, you do want to be conscious of the bra that you wear with it. So I actually wore this bra that I'm wearing right now, but this bra has like a J hook in the back, which sort of squinches it together and makes it so it's a little easier to wear that kind of halter top or this, this same cut of tank top. The shorts are a lot of fun. These are from Torrid, and Torrid, if you're listening, please sell these shorts in like multiple colors. I will buy them all. They are so fabulous. They have this, I forget, I don't know what it's called, but you know when like fabric is like gathered together and then it's like, ugh, I don't know how to explain it. 
um it's just like bunched together in such a way that it's, it's stretchy at the same time oh my god I, I like i'm gonna know what to call this later and be like so annoyed with myself it's sort of like this larger band of fabric at the top that's stretchy so it, it holds itself against my waist really nice so it sort of calls attention to the smallness of my waist but also if you don't have such a small waist you know it's going to be stretchy and comfortable it's not going to feel like a tight band of fabric on you and i find that anytime that there's a wide waistband it does tend to be more flattering on pretty much everyone and then it, it sort of like billows out and so it has a silhouette similar to like a circle skirt uh, but it has the comfort and the coverage of shorts. I almost never wear skirts this short that have like a billowy fabric. So it's like, okay, my ass is going to come out of these. But when they're shorts, I feel very free to wear them. They're so comfortable, flattering, love them. The shorts are in a size 3X. I believe that the website is sold out of most of the sizes. They have 3, 4, and 5X last time I checked. So that's annoying. Torrid, please restock these and come out with the, them in more colors because they are so the next outfit the top is also from forever 21 i think i got this last fall they totally don't have this i keep waiting for them to come out with something similar i would buy it in every single color i particularly really want one in like burgundy and like some bright fun colors so again forever 21 plus if you're listening girl bring that back because that was my favorite tank top i wear it with everything um, anyway, uh, the shorts are from ASOS and last year this type of short was really popular where it had that sort of fold over fabric but it was technically kind of open. These ones are a little bit longer than a lot of the versions I saw last year and I don't think the length with the width of them is very flattering. I think that they'd be better if they were a little bit shorter or perhaps even a little bit more billowy on the bottom and a little bit more high waisted. They're just sort of like a little bit awkward. Um, just to compare it to the Torrid shorts that I just showed, the Torrid shorts because they have that wide waistband and they're a little more high-waisted, it creates a more flattering silhouette. Whereas with the ASOS ones, they're just kind of wide. And that's okay. The clothing doesn't have to be flattering, but I'm just pointing out if they wanted to make it flattering, that's how they, you know, that might be one way they'd like to change it. I do like the little pom-poms on them. It's very cute. I love the print. I do overall really like this outfit. I've got, you know, one of my fall hats on that's a fedora that's purple that I love. I've had for years. I think I got it at Target. Um, and then the sandals are from last year from Torrid. So these shorts I got through ASOS. They're from Allison U. They're a size 26, but that's the size that's on the shorts. So I think I ordered these in, I think, a size 22. Keep in mind, okay, my, my size is usually like a size 22, 24 in US sizes on the bottom. On the top, I'm somewhere between an 18 and a 22. So for the for bottoms, for ASOS, I typically order a size 22 because their sizes are so off. Moving forward with the next pair of shorts, which is also from ASOS, and I'm wearing underneath this lace dress. This lace dress is from Forever 21. I know you guys are going to hate me. <laughs> it's sold out. Um, some eBay gouger bought up a whole bunch of sizes of it. So if you're interested, you can get that dress through eBay. I don't condone this practice. I think it's really, really shady, but I will have the link in the description bar down below if you're interested in that dress. It's fabulous. I love it. I, I'm sorry. Uh, so the shorts are a pair of cotton shorts with a lace band. These were super popular in the 90s and just kind of gave me like total 90s alert vibes. Um, now ASO sizing is so off. Actually, I think I ordered these on a size 20 and they were still freaking enormous on me. So frustrating because of course you can only order things online and things sell out really quickly with ASOS. Um, these shorts are currently sold out. I'm sure that they will come back because I've seen them come back a few times since I ordered them. I also want to mention there are actually quite a few places on Etsy that make shorts similar to this. So you can always find plus size lace hem shorts really, really quickly and easily. I like wearing things like this under dresses in the summertime, especially in a dress like this where it's lace and like if I wasn't, I'd just be in my underpants, which also is not a bad look. Actually, this dress looks super awesome like that as well. Um, but this is like a more conservative version of that. So underneath this maxi length dress, I am wearing a beautiful bralette, which I'm also wearing today. I love these. These are so much fun. It makes it so that you can show a little bit more skin and maybe feel a little bit less self-conscious about it. It adds a sex appeal factor. So much fun. So I'm wearing that over my black bra as I'm, again, doing today. <laughs> it's something that gives me a little support. Guys, I have a size G slash H breast. So regular bralettes on their own. <laughs> 
give me zero support so I do need to wear another bra underneath but I like the look of them still so I just sort of wear them over my regular bra they're lightweight they don't really add any extra heat at least not at this stage in the game ask me how I feel in July next outfit I am like so in love with this is a super cute kimono from Torrid now this comes in three different sizes it's like a zero one a two three or a four five so in my opinion I think that the two three ran kind of small because I'm a solid three sometimes even a two from Torrid and this is just a little bit off. it doesn't close as much maybe it's my big old boobies getting in the way uh, so it doesn't quite close but I actually kind of like the way that it fits so it turned out to be okay but I thought that it was going to close more when I saw it online this is so cute. I love the fringe. I love the color. And I think they go so cute with these little shorts. These are like a, a bleached out coral type of cutoff short. When you're wearing short shorts, tell me this is not a thing. They write up your crotch a little bit. I'm just being honest. It happens. So I went to like pick my frontal wedgie. Okay. <laughs> like this is so TMI. And Mikey was like, what are you doing? I'm like, hey, the shorts get crammed up there. It's a thing. Can you feel me? These shorts I bought in a size 26 because typically I wear a size 24, but in shorts I like them to fit a bit looser. I don't like them to be super tight. With these, I actually think I could have gone for my regular size 24 and they would have fit just fine because these are actually kind of big on me, which is one of the reasons why they're riding up. But overall, I like them. I think they're cute and I can't wait to wear them all summer long. They're going to be great. Same uh, sandals I was wearing earlier from Torrid last year. So this next outfit is one that I will fully acknowledge is not a flattering outfit. But again, clothes don't have to be flattering. You just wear what you love, what feels good. What I like about these shorts is that they are the jegging style from Torrid, which I love the jegging jegging jeans are my favorite. Normally in the Torrid jegging I get a size 22 but in these I believe I bought them in a size 24 just to give me a little bit more room. I think I probably could have got these in a size 22 though. And I like that they're a Bermuda length so these would be really great for going hiking in. They'd be really great for anytime you need to walk around a lot, go shopping. I just threw on just whatever t-shirt I had lying around and it happened to be this one that I got at a concert last fall. Um, it says get licked and it looks like the Rolling Stones logo. Um, it actually supports an animal charity which is really really great but it's kind of also it's a little you know it's a little risque. This shirt was actually cut for me at the concert so it, it kind of is like a little bit of a belly shirt and I haven't worn it a lot since the concert because the way that the shirt is cut it just tends to frame the part of my body that I'm the most self-conscious about. And one thing I found kind of interesting is that when I actually tied this up like a little crop top it actually was so much more flattering because before it was sort of hitting me at my widest point. And then the final outfit is half ASOS half Torrid. You can tell I have a thing for ASOS and Torrid and Forever 21. <laughs> um, the shorts are the belted sateen shorts and they have these in like a million different colors from uh, Torrid. Again I got these in a size 26 so if you bought them in your your regular size like my regular size is size 24 size 22 in the jeggings uh in these I got the size 26 because I wanted to size up and make them a little bit looser uh, I think I could have maybe gone for the size 24 but I like the way size 26 fits it gives me a little bit more room in these these hot pink shorts are I'm not quite conservative but they're a little bit more demure compared to like some of these other outfits, of course, I'm wearing with a decidedly not demure tank top. This is from ASOS Curve. It's very low cut. It's definitely like a nice, sexy tank top. It has the ribbing on it, which is very reminiscent of the 90s. I just, I, something about it, I just really like the cut of it. The other thing is that I'm wearing it with a bralette, which adds another little layer of sex appeal. I love that it has the detailing in the back. It just makes it all a little bit more interesting than just like, you know, your tank top and your bra. And, you know, it shows that you're trying to show it off on purpose as opposed to like, I couldn't cover it up. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my crop tops and shorts lookbook. One last thing before I let you guys go, I want to let you know that next Sunday, the 15th, I'm going to be launching skincare Sundays. Every Sunday, I'll be sharing a new skincare video with you, whether it be a, a you know, daytime routine, a nighttime routine, drugstore dupes for high-end skincare items, men's skincare, shaving, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to launch that. It's going to be an ongoing series in, indefinitely until it's not fun anymore or until I feel like I've covered enough. I also want to do videos on sunscreen. I'm super excited to launch that next Sunday on the 15th so be sure to watch that. I will have, I have tons of videos in the works for you guys coming up very very soon here on Vintage or Tacky and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be Vintage or Tacky just be on kind of beautiful blah, 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 all one word. See you later. <laughs>